really hold on? No, that's not an hour. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's gonna take us time. All right. Okay, ready? Yeah, me and my wife talked about it when we moved in a couple years ago, and we just never really got around to doing it. Oh, okay, okay. It was kind of holding you guys back. Uh, we just kind of got, you know how it is, you move in, you're getting all the stuff connected, yeah, and then you just kind of, life happens and you get going, so we just kind of pass this by, I think. Yeah, just like over the head type yeah, deal, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so what, what exactly was it that you guys were talking about? Um, Just protecting the house, it just seemed like the right thing to do. Like okay, okay. Again, yeah. yeah, I could definitely help out with that, man. I'm, I'm glad you actually brought it up. So first thing that I do want to ask is how many doors go inside out the house? Uh, front door, back door, we've got a side door, and garage door. Okay, okay. Yeah. Is, are any of them sliders? The back is a, well, it's a French door. Oh, back. sick, yeah. Oh, sick. Yeah, so I definitely like to act, start from the back and then end up in the front, right? So do you want me to come through or do you want me to go around the inside? Um, you can go around. Okay, cool. I'll meet you there. Okay, cool. Give some feedback. What are some things that you think can be uh, adjusted? So I started my stopwatch kind of late, but you were roughly right around the 45 second range, 50 second range. Yeah. Is that too right. fast? Or? So that was yeah, pretty good. I think there's like a yeah, oh, that's that's pretty good. 15 seconds. Yeah. Or, oh, you have to do yeah. it. You know. that was, that was, so you, you were good on timing, yeah, yeah. right? Uh, I would say that one of the cool things you might have been able to do right there was as soon as you said we thought about it, right then and there, it's immediate burst of energy. Just, oh, dude, awesome. We're, I'm going to be happy to cross off your list. How familiar are you with our system? I didn't want to cut him off, though, because I was still listening to what he was saying. Well, no, I mean, like, right after he was finished. Oh, okay. Right? Because you said, what's holding you back? Right? So when he tells you right there at the spot that, oh, we just never got around to it, he told you why he didn't get it. Mm -hmm. He kind of asked a redundant question, in a sense. Right? So instead of asking, though, what's holding you back, because he just said the only reason he didn't get it was because he just never got around to it. So at that point, you just say, oh, view. well, I'm happy to cross it off the list for you today. Oh, how familiar are you with our systems? Okay, cool. And then you just find some way. What were you thinking about putting up? And then yeah. my only gripe with it was like right at the end, it did feel a little contentious about you getting in. Like it, yeah. it felt a little unnatural to you. Yeah. Which is what creates that tension, right? Mm -hmm. When you're like completely like, oh yeah, cool. Let's take a look. You want to take my shoes off or leave them on? Like it's this is what I do, you know. Then it's then it'll be more comfortable for them. But that was good. Let's do good man. Good job. All right, who wants to go next? I was solid. Yeah, it was good. Pretty good, man. Good morning. Morning. Yeah. How's it going? Okay. Try. I'll give you another one. Um, yeah, we uh, we looked into it when we started. It was like four hundred bucks, and so we just like, eh. Yeah, they're gonna no. hit you over the head with it. Yeah, I'll uh, tell you. We're like, yeah, we are. No, I'm I'm great. I stopped yeah. by actually, uh, so you're gonna be really happy that I did. It's a God's blessing, right? So here's what I'm gonna do for you. What what exactly were you guys talking about adding to the home? Oh, uh, just an alarm system for the house. So oh, perfect, when we perfect. travel and we're gone, make sure it's protected. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so I like to work myself from inside out. So how many doors go in and out the house? We've got uh, three doors and a couple of French doors in the back. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what was in the back you said? French doors. French doors, yeah. okay, yeah. So uh, let's start on the back and then uh, I'm going to take my shoes off or do you want me to keep okay. them on? I've been so walking all day. What I would recommend doing to like ease it even more is explain to them why you're starting in the back. Okay. Okay. So that's why I, I like, look, this works really good for me. So you guys, I would really consider using it, right? I, I start with how familiar are you, before I get ahead of myself, how familiar are you with our systems, right? right? Believe it or not, then I go to two things, right? I have a short version and a long version. The short one is, believe it or not, majority of break-ins happen in broad daylight directly through your front door. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna start with your front door, okay. right? Or my long one is majority of, and I'm looking at their trim on the door, majority of wood frames are made out of white pine. Right. White pine is one of the world's softest woods. So the only thing separating you and your family from the outside world is a little piece of metal from your door going into one of the world's softest woods. So the truth is your door was designed to be broken into. You know why they did that? For firefighters. Yeah, in case there's a fire, they gotta make sure they can get in right away to save you. Poses a big problem for security though, right? So what we're gonna do to fix that is we're gonna take one of our sensors and we're gonna put it right here on the inside of the trim. So you're exp like you're not just like, let me go show you, or let's go look at the back door. It's just not, it's not that abruptness. It's more of like smooth and fluid. Like, yeah, we start with four, and then the inside goes right here. That way if it separates, alarm system goes off, police are on their way. Now your back door probably has a lot of glass, I assume, like a French door or a slider of sorts. Yeah. Okay, those are a little bit tricky to protect. Let me show you what we do. You want me to take my shoes off or leave them on? Uh, you can leave them on. Okay, great. So it's just, you're letting them know ahead of time 
-hmm. So it's like it takes away any element of surprise, right? We're not surprising them with anything. It's you're letting them know what the next step is. Right? Even with this, I'm letting them know what the next step is, right? We take one of our sensors, I'm following it with my eyes, you're gonna follow it with your eyes, and that gives me the ability to take this foot and put it on your on your doorstep. Okay. Right? And then I do purposely a little awkward shimmy to go inside here and talk about this. then you move back and I'm totally in your house right now, right? Okay. And the worst thing you can be like, so can I show you? Yeah. So let me show you how this like it's, no. it's just so awkward and people don't want to do it. It creates that tension, right? So good. Yeah. Good. I did one more talk. That one was really good. He did what you asked him to do on that one. Did you see his, you guys can't really see his yeah, facial expressions. We go this you, way. You lit up. And yeah. You're like, oh, I'm so glad I stopped by. Yeah. That's, that will help you so much for getting into the house. Because yeah. a okay. sale is a transfer of energy. Yep. And that, when you use your, you know, this is what we've been talking to you about for a while. All of us have been kind of talking about it. Is when you use your face, eyebrows, body language, and your tonality all at once in a positive way, super powerful impact. That was good. Yeah, because I'm really just, I'm basically saying like, dude, I was going to get it. Here's my barrier. I'm like laying everything out for you to just pick up the pieces and run with it. So, good. All right. You want to do another one or somebody else? Yeah, I do one? again. Okay. What's another good buying question? Um, wait a minute. You're saying free sounds too good to be true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. So, the equipment's free, right? Okay. And then the people that put it up, it's also free. And that's usually pretty costly, right? So the only thing that you have to worry about is the response time, right? It's a monthly, but it's gonna keep you connected to first responders, so fire, police, and medical. Yeah. So what was kind of, uh, what were you looking into for home security itself? Uh, we weren't really particularly looking into it. I okay. Just, I'm sure there's a cost for everything. I was just kind of curious what the cost was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, so that's kind of why I'm here. So it's a free assessment, and I basically come here, give you the knowledge that you need, and then from there, if it sounds good to you, then we move forward with it, right? Yeah, so what I actually like to do is I like to start from the front, right? So how many how, or how many doors do you have in and out the house? Uh, four. Four doors, four, okay. Yeah. And then a uh, front door, back door. Yeah, and then a slider on each side of the house. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. slider doors, all right. So what I like to start with actually is the front door, right? So uh, do you know anything about... Uh, ADT, like home security and stuff? Um, like how familiar yeah, are you with ADT, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah, so. we have one at work. Oh, yeah. really? Oh, yeah. Awesome. So it's a little bit different for like residential houses. Okay. So what we like to start with is actually the front door. So for the front door, uh, we have the sensor, right? So I put this big piece right here, right on, excuse me real quick, right on the actual pan, uh, the panel itself. And then the smaller piece goes on the door right here, okay? So that actually is gonna give you notifications on your phone and it gives you timestamps. So whenever the door is open and whenever it closes, it's gonna let you know, right? And then if the alarm is actually activated and it's like armed, uh, if the door opens or closes, it's gonna let you know and it's gonna alarm the system, right? So from, we got the first, the first door down, right? So uh, let's go to the back door real quick. Remember, prerequisite always, right? Instead of just barge into let's go to the back door, why is the back door so important, right? Remember how I talked about, okay, your back door probably has a lot of glass, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. It's a French door or a slider. Those are a little bit more difficult to protect. Let me show you what we'll do for that. You want me to take my okay. shoes off or leave them on, right? Then also remember, keep a, keep a good smile on your face all the time. Especially when you're doing the transition through the door because you're, you're on the border slash a little bit past the border of being in their personal space, right? Yeah. So when you're that close to somebody, they're really engaged with your face, you have to be on point. Okay. Right? You have to be, yeah, this, this person, like this, I'm kind of like having my eyebrows up all the time and I'm like this, and it keeps the energy up, right? It keeps, it makes them feel comfortable with you having control of the conversation when you're happy and smiling all the time, right? Mm -hmm. uh, once they'll be like, well, let me show you, and we're gonna do, like, <laughs> nobody wants to be bossed around, right? It feels bossed around. But when you're just like, yeah, let me show you. Yeah, so remember, you guys are educators. Like, you guys think that everybody knows all the stuff about alarm systems. They don't. You guys are there to educate them, right? So when people ask about how much it costs, this is a great opportunity to educate them on, look, here's, here's the two things you want to look at when getting a system. The equipment in the home, and then the monitoring attached to that equipment. The reason why people choose ADT is we have the most technologically advanced equipment for the home, all the high-tech gadgets, coupled with the fastest, most reliable service, right? That's why everybody uses ADT, right? So let me show you, what we'll do. before I get ahead of myself, how familiar are you with our systems, right? Okay, great, so we're gonna start with your front door. 
Believe it or not, majority of break-ins happen in broad daylight right through your front door. So we're going to take one of our sensors and we're, I try to go up into the corner okay. instead of you kind of came like right here. Yeah, I was See how that like, feels a little invasive? A little right? bit. But yeah. if you go, we're going to take one of our sensors and we're going to put it right up here in the corner. I kind of do a little, I'm doing this because I don't want to do this. Okay. Right? We put it right here in the corner and then the other part goes right here. Okay. Good. <clears throat> Good. These little tweaks that you do and then practicing it over and over and over again and getting it to where it's just like muscle memory. I want you guys to get to a point to where you hear a buying question and you're just, boom, I'm starting my process. It's automatic. Like I'm using that to transition into the house. I'm in the house, done. If you don't, you just end up talking yourself out of a sale at the door. Even if you get the sale at the door, the chances of it canceling are dramatically higher. Dramatically higher. I don't care how good you think you are at selling at the door, you're shooting yourself in the foot, okay? Let's have somebody else come on. Yeah. Well, I was gonna say, really 